Hiya, fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room, the new fish room. Grab yourself a snack and a beverage. Let's talk about it. All right, fishy folks, it is uh, six days since I started to move. Actually, a week since I started to move, six days since uh, most of my belongings have been moved to my new house. I uh, just want to give you an update. The upstairs part of the house is pretty much done. I've ordered some furniture, you know, the bed's all made and done and super comfortable. But the fish room, still a disaster, still really nothing set up yet. Um, we had to have a new hot water heater installed. The old one was from 1987, which hot water heaters are typically a 10 year to 15 year item, 1987. So uh, I opted for a tankless hot water heater for unlimited hot water for the fish room and cause I like to take long showers. So that was done yesterday. Uh, let, me, let me give you a tour of the room. There isn't great lighting, I'm just warning you ahead of time. And uh, I don't have, or I can't find some of my things that I film with. So hopefully it won't be too shaky. Refill your snack and beverage, stand by. All right, folks, as you come down the stairs, here's the basement. There's just storage and then a lot of fish room stuff for packing boxes and more things like my aquarium co-op linear pistol air pump. There's one there. There's another one there. I got to get air set up. Uh, we got to get everything set up. But here's the room. So I got to I have to have a door installed and there's no insulation. Um, so we got tanks everywhere. Uh, some tools. Those are the tanks that are just set up on the floor with some fish. Um, <clears throat> washer and dryer in the room. Well water, which is very hard. Sorry, which uh, has very high pH, like 8.2 to 8.4. I haven't actually tested the water. Uh, we can actually do that because I do have the aquarium co-op test strips, but... That's just where I filmed the intro. It already had a ventless heater, which I have running, uh, just to keep the, warm, the room a little warm. However, because there's no insulation, the upstairs is getting quite warm. Um, so the first thing I wanna do is get insulation and start sealing all everything up. There's a TV on the ceiling. I don't even know how it comes down. If you have any idea how this thing works, let me know, because I gotta get it down and uh, see if the TV works and stuff. So. Uh, the plumbers, I asked them to run uh, water lines here from the new um, hot water heater. So I have cold from the well, hot water from the hot water heater, and we put valves right there. And there's also valves on the other side where the hot water heater is. But that's where the uh, mechanical systems are going to go, at least the hot or the, the mixing valve for my water. Um, my good friends, Karen... And Keith from KGE Aquatics did most of the moving from the fish room for me. Um, little miscommunication. I wanted everything in that 90-gallon tank brought back here in the 90-gallon tank, but it took way longer than anticipated. So that 90-gallon is still at my old house. So I have to get that in about two weeks. Uh, my friend Martin from Super Sick is going to come up and help me, and we'll see uh, if any of my other friends have time to help me. Moving that 90 gallon tank, I also have a 75 gallon tank. They're old school, so they're real thick glass and heavy as you know what. Uh, so that, that could be a problem. Anyway, uh, the first thing I need to do, like I said, is insulate uh, the ceiling to keep the heat in here and have a door installed. I do not think I'm gonna insulate much on this wall, but the outside walls, I'll probably put up some sort of insulation. Uh, my game plan for this week is to start putting tanks um, somewhere. I don't know where, but get them up off the floor and uh, get my mixing valve in so I can put the right temperature water in tanks. Uh, the water from the well comes out quite cold. We've had quite a few losses, unfortunately, just because I, I just didn't have time to get this done how I needed it. Um, I lost all three of my... L333 King Tiger Plecos, um, and a couple guppies, and some quarries. But, I mean, maybe 10 total fish have died, uh, plus the those three Plecos, which are a huge loss for me, as I wanted to breed them, but 
poop happens, as you know. So anyway, that's the tour. That's what's going on. I got to get lights in here. I mean, there's a lot to do. And I have no idea what this block thing is. If you know anything about houses built in 1918 or what this could possibly be, let me know in the comments below. Um, I think I'm going to build a workbench for here where I'll do all my shipping and packing and stuff. The old workbench from the other fish room probably will not be able to like be removed from the fish room uh, because we built the, the door and the wall after it was there. So uh, I think that does it. Any comments or questions, please let me know in the comments below. And I hope to start making uh, regular content this week. I do have some things I have to um, do a review on. A uh, water tester, which is kind of cool because I can test the water here. <clears throat> and uh, some aquarium co-op stuff I also have to review. So hopefully regular content will be coming. And uh, that's that. If you have any comments, questions, anything to say about the fish room, please let me know in the comments below. Have a great day.